this recipe is pretty spooky. Actually, it's not. But you've probably seen a jack-o'-lantern before, and those are pretty spooky. You know that those are pumpkins, right? And if you've carved one, you've cut it open and pulled out the guts and the seeds, and you've probably felt it. You know it's hard on the outside. But did you know that you can eat some pumpkins? And that's what I've got here. Pumpkin, after it's been cooked for a long time, it gets nice and soft. And my favorite way to cook squash or pumpkins is to make soup. Let me show you how. Let's cook. Always ask an adult helper to cook with you. First, we gather all the equipment and ingredients we need. A saucepan, three tablespoons of butter, one medium onion finely chopped, one cup applesauce, two cups vegetable broth, half a cup water, one can unsweetened pumpkin, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, and one can evaporated milk. First, melt butter in a saucepan over medium heat, and then add onion and cook until it's soft. This recipe calls for onion that is finely diced. That's what this means. It means cut into very small pieces. So this, for example, would be a slice of onion. And this is onion diced. So let's go ahead and cook those as our first step. So we've got our onions cooked already. And our next step is to add all our ingredients except the evaporated milk. In goes our pumpkin. Do you like pumpkin pie? This is also what that is made with too. Oh, let's get it all. And we need to add one cup of applesauce. You can make it yourself or you can use it from a jar. And we want a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. It smells so good, like pumpkin pie, sort of. We need a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. This is called a pepper mill. The pepper comes out of it when you turn it. Do you have one like this at home? And lastly, we're going to add our vegetable stock. Now we're gonna cook this on the stove with an adult's help. So next we're gonna stir in some of our milk, about half. The soup should be creamy, not too chunky. And your soup should still be hot, so it's actually ready to serve. Let's get it stirred all the way. And then we'll ladle out a bowl. It's a pretty tasty jack-o'-lantern, right? Pretty good.